Welcome back guys. In this video lecture we will be studying successive differentiation. So previously we did uh, nth order def derivative of a single function. So now today we will be learning how to do nth order de derivative of product of two functions. So by the help of Leibniz theorem it is possible. So let's get started. So first we will take on the definition if u comma v are the two functions of x possessing n derivatives then the n derivative of the product of the product is given by So, the two terms involving in Leibniz theorem, both the individual terms should possess nth order derivative, then only the product is possible, and then either it is not possible. So, it will be given as this u dot v nth order derivative, which will be u n v plus n c 1 u n minus 1 v 1 plus n c 2 u n minus 2 v 2 plus up to this will go on up to n c r u n minus r v r plus up to u of v of n so this is just basically the formula how we can calculate product of two n derivatives by Leibniz theorem. So to understand this let us take an example. Example if we have y is equals to x cube sine of 2x so we have to find y of n. So we need to apply Leibniz theorem but we also need to think about it. So we have to decide which function on taking which function to be u and which function to be v our formula gets as small as possible so if we take uh, v as sine 2x it will go on continuing continuing see we have to continue this order up to last but if we take u as sine 2x which is this and v as x is cube we only need to do it like four or five times first it will get b x cube then it will be 3 x square then 6 x then 6 then I then again it will go on 0 so let me show you what I'm meaning is let u is equals to sine 2x and so u n you know the formula direct formula 2 to the power n sine of n pi by 2 plus 2x this formula is ne you need to be memorized it so v x is x is cube so v1 will be 3x square v2 will be 6x v3 will be 6 v4 v5 all will be equals to 0 so now our formula yn turns out to be in place of un so it will directly add to the power n sine of n pi by 2 plus 2x now v x is cube now nc1 to the power n minus 1 sine of n minus 1 pi by 2 plus 2x so this was for this n minus 1 derivative and this now v will be this will be our 3x square plus nc2 to the power n minus 2 we just need to substitute this this is very simple this will be sine of n minus 2 pi by 2 this will be plus 2x now this will be 6 a third order derivative now plus nc3 to the power n minus 3 sine of n minus 3 upon 2 pi plus 2x times 6 after this all the terms will be 0 0 0 and the last term will be sine 2x dot 0 this will be 0 so this is the basically the answer so if you had any problems comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button 
and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.